turned out that one of our investors had gone around me and tried to steal the opportunity. And I, I, I tell you, I was just heartbroken. I couldn't believe it. The guy who was intending to do this was a titan in Seattle at the time. He's here and I'm down here. I, I, I would have no access to him. I was in a basketball league at the time and I'm telling my friend Scott Greenberg the story. He's a lawyer, a young lawyer at uh, Bill Gates Sr.'s law firm. And he says to me, you got, you, this is a terrible thing. You've got to come in the office and tell Bill Gates a story. You, just, you have to. I said, well, I don't even know Bill. He said, you come in. So next day, he got a meeting with me, and I went in there. Bill Gates Sr., who at the time was like 6'7", 6'8". He was a titan of Seattle. He was just the man. Now, Bill Gates, Microsoft at the time, was a small startup company. No one knew Bill Gates, but everyone knew Bill Gates Sr. I walk in the office, I tell him the whole story, and he says, I'm just going to ask you two straight-up straight questions. He says, Are you telling, is everything you told me true? I said, Mr. Gates, 100% the truth. Have you left anything out? I, think, I said, no. And he says, we're going to take a walk. I don't know where we're going. We take a walk across the street, literally, we go up to the top floor, and I, then I realize we're walking into the other man's office, <laughs> whose name should be not mentioned. I, we walk in, Bill Gates is six, seven, six, eight. This guy is behind his desk, and Bill Gates stands over him, just like this, walks in and said, I'm going to walk out of this office, and you are going to stand down and 